Hey. Um, so. Oh, yeah. So I have this thing where, um, I never like to clean my room. I let my room get, like, messy. I just do other projects. And then, um, oops, sorry, I'm on backlit so you can see the computer in my eyes. Um, so, um, uh, my glasses, not my eyes. So, then, when I, I'll, I'll just, I'll just decide at, like, you know, 11 or 12 or something that it's, like, time to clean. And so, um... So, I did that tonight. I came home, and it was like 10 or 11, and I decided it was time to clean, and I've just been cleaning my room. Um, it's, it's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I've just been... Well, I wasn't totally cleaning my room. I was watching Felicity again, um, and... Um, and... Um, I was watching Felicity, and... Um, Okay, so when I was with my ex, who was like my shitty abusive ex, whatever, um, like I gained a ton of weight, and so I have all these clothing that don't really fit anymore. Like they really don't fit out anymore. But I just like there's still good clothing, and I just I just had never like cleared out my closet and got rid of stuff that didn't fit, and so. Um, so I'll go to my closet to get clothing, and it looks like there's a lot of stuff in there, but then I can't find anything because the stuff that actually does fit is, like, mixed in with the stuff that doesn't. So I went in my closet, and I got rid of basically everything that doesn't fit anymore. I missed a couple things, and there were a couple things that I've just, like, had so long that I didn't want to get rid of them, even though I probably won't wear them. Um, or there are things that are like, I don't know, like this giant sweatshirt that, I don't know, sometimes I wear, but not out of the house. But so, yeah, so I did that, and then I took the drawers out of my dresser, and I, like, took everything that didn't fit out of those two and, like, organized them and actually folded stuff, um, which I don't generally do. Um, and... I um, folded all my clothes and did all this laundry, and I like um, I dyed. So my new favorite thing is to get like to buy like white undershirts and underwear and stuff and just dye them. Um, Cause I don't I don't like to wear like white undershirts and underwear and stuff like that. But um, if I dye them, then they can be like hot pink or um I so I dyed some stuff teal tonight and I didn't actually like the teal I don't know I kind I mean the teal's okay but like I was hoping more of like uh turquoise um but it'll be fine um so yeah so I just I stayed up really late doing all that stuff but um it's cool because I don't know, I feel like I still need to get rid of some more stuff, but I got rid of most of the stuff that doesn't fit, and so it's cool to, like, look at my closet, and the stuff in there fits, and, um, I can actually tell what I actually have, and, um, it's also nice that I took all the random stuff out of my drawers that, like, wasn't even really closed, like, gross, ripped up old socks that I'm never gonna wear, and, like, there's no reason for them to be in my drawers. So, um, um, yeah, so, um, I'm very excited about that. Um, and, it, like, I, yeah, I swear I'm not on drugs. I've never done drugs in my life, actually. Um, well, um, and I basically. And, um, I, yeah, like, I've never done drugs in my life. I'm not on drugs at all. Um, I did have some caffeine, but not a lot. But, um, yeah, it was crazy. 
So, what's up? oh yeah. So then I also was going to talk about, um, so I've been running this year, um, and I have run every single day since, um, like I, I just, I woke up New Year's morning and I decided I was going to go for a run. Um, I didn't have, it wasn't even a New Year's resolution. I didn't have like this plan of, oh, I'm going to be a runner now or anything like that. But I just woke up and decided to go for a run. And so I have run every single day since then. And it's, well, technically it's the 19th, but I don't really count it as the next day until I've gone to bed and woken up. Um, so it's kind of the 18th. And I, so that means I've run 18 times and um, I've been keeping tra track and I've run 23 miles so far, 23.1. Um, because the little loop I do is 1.3 miles, but one day I only did one mile because I did a run with my sister. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, but yeah, I think my last video was a little like depressing and sad and kind of just like, no one will date me here. And um, it's still true that no one will date me here, but I've kind of decided to just not date right now basically sort of um because there's no one to date in Detroit it has absolutely nothing to do with me it has um I think a lot more to do with the fact that there's just no one to date here and um I'm a grad student I don't need to be dating I don't have time to be dating I need to be um uh being like the best at my school and like um kicking ass and doing everything to make myself have the best resume and the best everything when I graduate so I can get a job um and then when I get a job uh, I, I have two of them right now, but when I get a real librarian job um, with my own collection, not interning with someone else's collection, um, and I have uh, I want a teen librarian job, I want to have my own teen section where I'm the only one dealing with it, and it's like this little mini collection that's all mine, and I get to decide everything, and, um, yeah, so once I have that, um, I can date again, because that's what I really want, and if I date, that will distract, I don't know, so that's, that's sort of my justification, part of it is that there's no one to date here, and it's just making me unhappy to focus on not dating, and, or on wanting to date when even though I really don't have time so um, I'm trying to have that be my new thing but uh, it's a funny thing thinking about the fact that I'm not dating makes me think about dating a lot but um, I also don't have that much time to um, oh and I started taking a French class which I'm very excited about um, with a friend from my program, um, my friend Lisa Jane, who's um, one of my friends um, in my program. Um, and um, she's taking it because she's a film archivist and French is pretty important. Um, and I'm taking it because I, you know, kind of would like to maybe get a job in Canada um, and leave the United States and um, uh, being bilingual um, is something that will help me with that. Bilingual with French and I speak French. Um, it's just been years so it's it's pretty bad and uh, same with same with my friends. So we're taking sort of we're in level A4, which is the fourth level of the beginning section. And so we just had our first class on Monday. 
and it was fun. So, um, I feel like I should say something in French now, but that's too much pressure. Um, maybe I'll speak in French in the next video a little bit. Um, too nervous now. Can't think of any words. Um, uh, my vocabulary is actually pretty bad. Um, I remember most of the like grammar and putting stuff together as long as we stick in the present tense. Um, oh yeah, and I'm wearing my Pitson shirt today, which is like, uh, since living in Detroit, like I actually kind of sometimes enjoy sports because I think you have to. I think it's just like a magical thing that you live in Detroit and you kind of enjoy sports even if it's really not your thing. Um, cause sports, sports are kind of like when cool stuff happens in the city and when people come and it's a different city when sports are here. So there's just an interest. Um, but normally the Pistons are like the only sports team I like and like weirdly like there's this weird thing where, um, normally if sports are on, it's like boring and stupid to me and I'm, I'm not interested and I'm annoyed that people are yelling at the TV when I'd rather they be talking to me. Um, somehow when the Pistons are on, not just basketball, not just any random basketball team, the Pistons, like I become one of those people who's yelling at the TV. So, um, yeah, so that's why I have a Pistons shirt and, uh, also because it's awesome and comfortable and it's the perfect thing to wear while cleaning your room till four in the morning. Anyway, um, I don't want to get this too, I don't want this to get too long. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go. Um, I wanted to say something in French, but I just got too nervous, so.